Well, the hits just keep on coming for disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong. Last month, he admitted to using performance-enhancing drugs. Now a prize insurance company wants 12 million bucks back. It's the cash they paid him for three Tour de France wins. This is the very same company that sued him in 2005, accusing him of cheating. But the company back then could not prove it, and they settled out of court. But does the company now have a case? Let's bring in Robert Schalk and Keisha Heaven. Both are defense attorneys, former prosecutors. Robert, do they have a case? Yes, absolutely, Greg. Uh, the insurance company settled that suit in 2005, but they detrimentally relied on what Lance Armstrong testified to and what he swore to, that he did not take performance-enhancing drugs. And by relying on that, they settled. But now, a fraud has been committed, a fraud by Lance Armstrong, his team, and I think that they're going to be able to recoup some of the money. I don't think they're going to get all of it back, but there's definitely going to be some recovery. See, here. Robert said the magic words, detrimental reliance. You learn this in law school. But my question is, what are their damages, really? Well, the damages will have to be assessed based on how much they profited from this contract. But as um, he just stated, there was fraud. And I'm sure his attorneys may try to say, well, the statute of limitations, there's a five-year statute of limitations. Right. But the fact of the matter is in civil cases, the judge right. will uh, oftentimes delay the running of the statute of limitations. It's called tolling the statute of limitations, especially when somebody who's involved lies about it. That right. automatically tolls the statute of limitations. Let's put up on the screen all of the different potential civil lawsuits he's looking at, not just the 12 million bucks. Look at this, the federal whistleblower case. That one's pending, accusing him of defrauding the government, 30 million bucks. Libel reimbursement to pay back the Sunday Times, the 12 million we've been talking about. How about Robert, the defamation cases, I mean, he went out of his way to destroy people's lives. People are going to be lining up with lawyers to file lawsuits against Lance Armstrong because he went on a search and destroy mission. Anyone who spoke out against him, he came out and absolutely crushed them either in court or in the newspaper or on television. And the problem for him is he's admitted it. He went on Oprah, the exhibit right. number one. Four hours of sit-down video with Oprah Winfrey where he says, I knew that they were telling the truth, and, and I knew that I was lying, and I still took him to court. And it's right. not just defamation. It's intentional infliction right. of emotional distress. Right. Imagine what those people went through when he sat there and sued them for defaming, allegedly defaming his character when he was lying all along, and they definitely have the grounds for And, and, and some of those victims were, like, kicked out of the business right. forever. Right, right. He's ruined lives, careers, lives, and... Finances. And he was vicious about it. Oh, right? one of his former teammates relocated his entire life to Australia because he couldn't show his face here in the United States. Is what he says. It's what his family says. Yeah, he's apparently worth about hundred million dollars. But I mean, if you start adding up all of the potential judgments against him, the right. settlements and the lawyers' fees, the guy could be broke. Yeah, he's going to lose a lot of money, and, and his best bet is to settle. My question is, will he end up? behind bars. Let's take a look here at the potential criminal prosecutions because now the feds say, you know what? We might just do this. Drug trafficking, money laundering, fraud, conspiracy, obstruction of justice, perjury. I mean, he was intimidating witnesses, Robert. Oh, absolutely. And the, it, the perjury charge is probably going to be left to the side, but the other charges are definitely legitimate. And one thing that I would say is there was an article that was run about two years ago in Sports Illustrated about Lance Armstrong. And when the federal government was executing search warrants on his home, he was taunting them on Twitter. Bad idea, Lance. Wow. Really, really bad idea. And then there's also the issue of the obstruction of justice. There was a federal indictment where he was questioned, and he outright lied, and that's an obstruction of justice. Even if the perjury doesn't stick, he definitely will be prosecuted for that. Yeah. They're going to want him. You know, um, I was talking with some other folks recently. They said, well, he's a celebrity. He's a big sports hero, though now shamed, and he probably won't go to prison. Although I think of Marion Jones. Oh, who yeah. did go to prison. Absolutely, and you, the Department of Justice, we're not talking about a, a Roger Clemens, Barry Bond situation here. We're talking much worse and on a much larger scale. And I think when, if he was convicted of these charges with the sentencing guidelines that he would be facing, I would think it would be a strong possibility that he could face some jail time here. And I think there's more public outrage and anger in this case as opposed to the Mary Jones. Hers was, it was a bad case as well, but I mean, like we said, he's ruined so many lives. And then he outright mm -hmm. came out and said, you know, I was lying. This is why um, you guys always tell your clients, don't talk to anybody but you. Right. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Robert Schalk, uh, Keisha, have a good to see you both. Good to Thanks see so you, much. too. Thanks so much. Thank you, Greg. Heather?